one million is a very large number. A million seconds, for example, is 11.57 days, and that is technically called a megasecond. A US dollar bill weighs about a gram, so one million US one dollar bills would weigh approximately 2,200 pounds, or 1.1 tons. This is a million pennies. The number is so large that the Egyptian hieroglyph for a million is a man holding up his arms in surprise. Technically, Roman numerals only go to a thousand, represented by a capital M. Writing one million in Roman numerals would require writing M a thousand times. But a shorthand is to place a bar over the top of a number, which means multiplying it by a thousand. So M meaning a thousand with a line over it represents a million. But in fact, that system was never standardized, leading to a legend. At the 480 BC Battle of Thermopylae, Greek historian Herodotus claimed that Xerxes I of Persia had an army of a million soldiers. Most historians think that number was exaggerated, it was likely more like a hundred thousand, but anyway, one story is that Xerxes tried to intimidate the Greeks by describing the size of his army, but used the notation M with a line over it to represent a million. Unfamiliar with the notation system, the Greeks didn't recognize the number's meaning, and so were not intimidated. But we know that ancient Greeks conceived of numbers that large. In the 3rd century AD, Greek mathematician Archimedes attempted to calculate the size of the universe and determine the upper number of grains of sand that would fit into it. To do his calculation, Archimedes needed to devise a number system based on the myriad, meaning 10,000. While any number could be written using his notation, there was still no simple word for one million. There is an apocryphal story that the number million is related to Marco Polo. The story goes that prior to Marco Polo, there was no single name for the number. It was stated as simply a thousand thousands. The name, the story goes, was derived from his middle name, Emilio, and became Emilian. There is some question of whether the number was required because in the travels of Marco Polo, he gave descriptions of numbers so vast that numbers used at the time were too small to fit the descriptions, or because the book was so exaggerated that it was said to contain a million lies. The website Nautilus notes that there was no single name for a million in Old English because the number was simply too impractically large that it really had no use in common numbers. There's no record that was going to log, say, a million cattle. The word million didn't start to appear in English until Middle English in the 14th century. Rather than Marco Polo, the word is assumed to have been borrowed from Italian. Million was derived from the Italian word mille, meaning a thousand, and adding the suffix one, meaning essentially a great mille. For some personal perspective, I grew up in a town in southwestern South Dakota called Hot Springs. The population of Hot Springs is about 3,500, so I have just short of 286 times as many followers on YouTube as there are people in my hometown. In fact, a million exceeds the entire population of South Dakota, about 880,000. And of course, the number one million represents a significant milestone for us here at The History Guy. One million subscribers. For all of you who helped us to get there, and especially those of you who've stuck with us since that number was much smaller, thanks a million.